If you've tried a lot of businesses and all you got was failure after failure after failure, then this video is for you. I interviewed Melissa Profeta from Social Media Academy and she will be sharing with you her failures, thoughts and ideas on how to survive and succeed during this time of crisis coming up. Hello and entrepreneurs, this is Fibo Lim and I'm really excited today because I brought a speaker that you, you will really love and she is one of the female speakers. By the way, welcome to the Entrepreneurs Charity Summit. In this summit, we interview the best of the best speakers, authors, public figures, experts in the Philippines so that they will be sharing with you their ideas, strategies, their thoughts on how to survive and succeed during this crisis, even if you're at home and even if your business is greatly affected. And this is also a dual purpose because this is a fundraising activity wherein 100% uh, of the proceeds will be donated to help uh, you know, everybody that is affected in this crisis. Now, now to give you a backstory on um, you know, how I uh, you know, knew this person, well, I've I've seen I've seen her on social media. I've I've seen her, you know, teach, get interviewed in different, uh, parang basa marami na kita on social media. Eh. Parang na kita ko lang siya. And uh, tapos curious ako. And one day, um, someone invited me, which is MJ, um, to a virtual summit. And uh, MJ also invited this person. And ayun, uh, the best part is I, I listen to you know all these interviews, and I think she is one of the one of the best uh, people in the interview. Talagang he shared her ideas, her thoughts, and then sabi ko, how can I uh, you know get to know this person? And uh, what I did is parang basa nagka friends kami on Facebook, and then I messaged her. We had a conversation, and. That's when I invited her to be part of this uh, Entrepreneur's Charity Summit. Because right now, um, she has she she's a serial entrepreneur. When you say serial, kumbaga, building business after business after business. And I believe she is uh, she has an idea already on how to build a brand, how to market online, how to um, you know handle operations, advertising, marketing, and that's the reason why. And you know me that I don't bring basta basta sino lang speakers. No, I really bring the best of the best. Kung baga kung uh, sila yung best, best pa ng best, right? Um, now to give you an, uh, a much better introduction, she's a serial entrepreneur managing businesses in the Philippines like buy and sell, uh, buy and sell trade scene like cars and luxury items and several other online businesses, teaching people how to make money out of social media. She's also an active contributor for the high-level platforms like Influensive, Thrive Global, and Good Men Project. She's, she's also uh, blogging about her mommy journey. Wow. Personal growth and anything business plus marketing at This Is, Ma this is Me. Ah, sorry. This Is Melt. Dot com. Ayan. So after this, you have to go to that uh, site. No? This is melt.com, which aims to develop and advocate ladies to become high value and financial independent women. Grabe, kasi, di ba, especially as entrepreneurs, parang uh, usually most uh, entrepreneurs talaga lalaki, lalaki. And I think she's really an advocate na, hey, kahit babaya ko, I could even overpower the men right now and she's a like one of the best influencers with regards to women's advocacy so guys i want you to welcome um, i'm very blessed and honored to bring this person with you right now miss melissa profeta um melissa i want to thank you so much for saying yes to this i know your time is valuable so talagang appreciate ko for uh, spending time and especially sharing your ideas in a few minutes Yes, I'm also humbled to be introduced by you, Fibo. I appreciate you for inviting me and for also collating all the other entrepreneurs out there into really coming up with this kind of summit where the main intention is to really help um, people who are in need. So thank you very much for having me. Wow. I mean, Melissa, uh, there's probably people who just saw you for the first time. Is it possible? Is it okay if you could share what you do and then why you do what you do? Is that okay? Yes, yes, of course. So I really go by calling myself, instead of just a coach, um, a serial entrepreneur now because I have several businesses at the moment. Um, not all of them are running, unfortunately, because we had to stop operations, but I'm going to talk about that later on. Um, yeah. So I have uh, over eight 
uh, businesses. I have an online wow. school called Social Media Academy, which I co-founded with my business partner. I also have a buy and sell. It's most likely like a car dealership business. We have several units out there, so that would be my brick and mortar business. Mm-hmm. Um, and some other business that I have is just like Fibo. I have a personal market, personal brand agency. So we market um, names on social media. Uh, it could be like Facebook, LinkedIn, things like that. So about myself, actually, I am also a mompreneur. So I am a mom, and the reason why I've included in the bio that I am blogging about personal growth, advocating ladies to become high value and financially independent women is because I don't see a lot, a lot of women doing, uh, particularly moms, okay, not a lot of moms have the guts or the clarity to become an entrepreneur. So that's why I'm advocating moms to become an entrepreneur like me. And so that's basically it. It's what I do mainly. But if we want to talk about uh, my background, maybe I can talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Um, Melissa, uh, I mean, what I'm doing, as, as, you, see, as, you, uh, as you were talking, I was just taking down notes because I have a lot of questions based on what you've said. No, na, like you are a mom, at the same time an entrepreneur. Um, first, first questions you're going to want to ask, like how, how did you find that balance? Because... Diba? You, you, usually at home, diba? the the men look out for money, they become the entrepreneurs, while the women just stay at home and then do the kind kind of like the operations at home, the kids, the you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that doing both is pretty hard. I mean, I understand how that feels. How, how did you have because most probably there may be uh, women watching ayon and uh, sinasabi yeah. kasi nila na wala akong time maging uh, magnegosyo eh kasi na may mayro pa ako anak I still have to clean this I still marami akong inasikaso pay the bills and stuff um how did you have this balance and how did you have time to to be a mom mompreneur actually it goes back to um my story when I was still a kid because I, before I even became an entrepreneur, there has been a lot of experiences in my life already. And I would, start, would like to start with that. So my entrepreneurial mindset started when I was a little kid. Uh, when I was seven years old, I had all these um, extra toys at home. And since my mom, are, you know, she's disciplining me mm-hmm. and making sure that I don't just get everything in an instant. So she really made me work hard. Uh, to get what I want, Great. I wouldn't say really worked hard. For parties, she's, alam mo yun, common yeah. common na mommy mentality. Kailangan matutukan na. So, right, right. So so what I I I did is ah, hindi ako pinigyan ng mom ko ng money kasi gusto ko bumili ng nerds airheads, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> those kinds of candies kasi wala din ako ng um, big baon at that time because I all I have muffins, mm-hmm. you know, packed lunch and everything else. So what I did, I sold my toys for one pesos to five pesos mm-hmm. uh, when I was a little girl and I ended up having 100 pesos for the first time and mm-hmm. all that because I sold my toys. So that was the Great. very first experience that really uh, striked me. So seven palamaj na mulat na ako in terms of money making, which Great. Uh, continued when I got to high school. Um, I would, I was called actually this this bayong girl, <laughs> uh-uh. because back in high school I would have this these big bayongs filled yeah. with snacks. So I wait, was... <laughs> wait, hold on. Um, we have the same story because um, I I sold my toys as well, and also when I was in uh, high school and elementary, I was also selling snacks as well. Oh my god! So we do have a common ground, talaga. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, so they called me the the bayong girl, and I was competing with uh, the canteen because we were in fourth year high school that time and super taas ng building. So mm-hmm. of course, the pain point there is my classmates don't want to go down pa sa canteen para bumili ng snacks when they are gutom. So, that's why I sold the snacks. But then, of course, common business issues, you will have your competitors eventually. Dumami, mm. dun, sa, dun sa level namin, dumami yung mga nagkitinda. Mm. Um, so, I had to close it out. And also, there, wa, there were plenty of 
um, imposed rules by the, right. by kasi napansin na ata nila <laughs> ng school yung mga bagay yeah. revenue ng canteen. Uh-huh. So what's funny um, no kasi after that experience when I got out of high school when I graduated I told myself okay this is the real welcome to the real world basically Melissa and I could start working now. So maybe I could do something else, something better to help me, um, to to help me generate more income. Because before my big dream when I was still young is to become uh, a multimillionaire by the age of twenty. So ganon mm. na ako kapig kagigil. Wow. Yeah. Bata pa lang ako no? So kaya medyo hustle hustle girl tayo. Right. So that's why what I did now for experience um, after uh, after high school. Um, I applied. Good thing na natanggap naman ako sa 7-Eleven. I became a graveyard shifter. And wow. then I also became a Jollibee crew. Wow. Yes, last year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one of the, the lessons that I would la- love to share um, in my experience as a Jollibee crew member no, and uh, a 7-Eleven crew is, number one, you have to be uh, compassionate with people. Doon ko natutunan mm-hmm. yun. Because there was this time um, we're in super queuing. Yeah. Okay lang, ibanggitin ko na rin yung fast food chain. So it's Jollibee. Yeah. So it was very queuing on a Sunday and people were all busy and the lines were talagang, talagang piling up hanggang sa dulo siya, right. sa pintuan. And so ako din, I, I, I was rattling. So mm-hmm. medyo aligagana din ako. And the, there was this guy who ordered soup. So, dahil busy lahat ng cashier, one of my co-cashiers bumped into me. And the soup, natapon lang siya dito sa side. Sa so, kamay ko lang, ha? Sa kamay ko lang. Tapos, the guy who ordered the soup saw it and he pounded the yung metal na na cashier yeah. table. Yeah. So, talagang sobrang daring tao na. Tapos, nung pinawd na yun, nagulat din ako. Nagulat lahat. Tapos, ang sumigaw uh-huh. siya. Uh-huh. Sabi niya, ano ba yan? Wow. Grabe, ano ba yan? Palitan niyo naman yan. At in, parang, oh my God, Sunday, tapos ganito to. Right. So, sa, right. ako, bata pa lang ako nun, so, mga 17 ako nun, tama, 17. Um, I was teary-eyed already. And dun ko, first time ko yun na-feel. Yeah. Um, and and uh, buti na lang yung manager ko at that time, ay sinave ako. Sabi niya, dito ka muna sa likod. Sige, ako nang bahala mag-take over. Kasi nanginig talaga ako. So, that experience of mine, to, yun yung pinaka parang turning point for me that I cannot be um, working like this. So, I have to show these types of people mm-hmm. how to have money, how to be the kind of person who has money at the same time, be compassionate. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, has the, the heart to help. Right. So, so, after no, no, just after a few months, I went a wall. <laughs> Mm. Okay, well na talaga ako. Hindi ko na tinapos yung contract. But I lasted for five months. Kasi usually, it's 5.5 going 6. So mm. depende. Pero I had to stop. But yeah. as a, while I'm working, as a crew, I was also a nursing student. So, mm. Wow. Yeah. So I already had the experience of multitasking, managing your time as early as that yeah. age. But then, so this, 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 classmates of mine were seeing me na parang lagi akong pagod. Mm-hmm. Um, they feel inspired because there was this time pa nga na, uh, na hindi naman ako sa nagyayabang pero bright naman kasi ako sa class. Mm-hmm. And they see how I really persevering. Right. So, there was this time sa isang um, biolo- biology class namin. Um, sabi ni, nakanganga na ako na parang antok na antok yata ako. Huh? Tapos, na 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 huli ako nung teacher. Mm. So ang nagulat din ako kasi yung teacher ko is nagalit. But all my classmates rooted for me. Mm. Kasi alam nila that the reason why I'm probably super tired is because yun nga um graveyard shifter kasi ako. When you do graveyard kasi um in you know sa Jollibee, uh, sometimes mm. it would take lalo na pag closer ka. Mm. Um, it would take you about siguro an hour and a half Ah, bago ka talaga makauwi. Because you have to clean right. the whole store together with the other closers. So, kaya lagi ako umuwi ng 12 in the morning. So, yeah. wow. 
So yun, meron ng isang classmate ako na nag-introduce sa akin uh-huh. uh, na maging promodizer. So that was that uh-huh. was my next thing. So oh. I became promodizer, but the reason why I didn't, I didn't like, naging turning point in siya, it's because uh-huh. I felt like parang nababastos okay. na girl. Kasi we had to, alam mo na, wear, maikli, yeah. and uh, met, parang uh, revealing kind of the met kanyan. So, yeah. sabi ka, ayoko pala na ganito. At least I have I've experienced it, but uh-huh. I made sure that I wouldn't be doing that ever again. Mm-hmm. Until one classmate of mine, um, showed an opportunity, yun nga, so in short, kinidnap niya ako. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, I think that's a common story, no? He kidnapped me sa isang area. Hindi, hindi bad kidnap, as in, sinabi niya na may uh, gig, but he didn't really fully disclose what it was. So, in short, I got myself involved um, mm-hmm. in the network marketing scene. I became mm-hmm. a network marketing ma- marketer myself and earned my first million at the age of 19. Power. Power. <laughs> Galing. But, uh, but the thing there was that, um, syempre, pag bata ka pa, mm. um, you're not really getting financial advice, you know, um, you're not getting yung mga wealth code, wealth advice, mga ganyan. And Facebook at that time wasn't really very popular. Not yeah. a lot of people were advocating how to be um, smart in this and that. Okay, so kudos for for the new generation right. ba, because this is an advantage to you so yung na yung katulad ng ganitong klaseng summit wala naman ganito noon right 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 so so yun kaya by the age of 20 when i found out that i was pregnant um hmm. masakla because we also went bankrupt hmm. that was the first downfall that i had in my life and I gave birth to my first daughter at the age of 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, nung wala akong pera. But I'm gonna tell you how I made it through later. Mm-hmm. So, fast forward. Uh... Hold on, Melissa. Kasi medyo naglag. Hold on. Nag, uh, it's, it's lagging. Hold on. Medyo nag-pause. Teka. All right, yeah. Um, hey. Great, great. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, where were you? Um, sa ngolit yun. Sa yeah, yeah. I remember the twenty-one years old. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, um, I sabi ko nga earlier. I'm going to share with you how I made it through. Even though, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I gave birth. Paano ka ako nakasurvive? Because, uh, nakiyari ko na kasi yung mindset na I will never ask. Um, money or any kind, any type of financial support from my parents. Pagdating ko ng, pag after ko gumraduate ng high school. Yeah. Hindi ako humingi sa kanila. Even sa pagpanganak. Which I'm gonna share with you then. Because the kind of strategy that I used, I have always used it. Because mm. it's it's something that I have um, that's truly effective. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to be able to adapt to it. So anyway, um, that instance, when I was 21 years old, the first bankruptcy, that was the first um, first lowest of the low my experience right. in my life. But then, sabi ko earlier, when you become a mother, uh-huh. you have this this shift in your brain that even though you're this very confident woman, um, this woman who is, uh, you know, go lang lang go, bigla ka wag to change, you would feel more inclined to... Um, just the sustainability, security. So anything that has something to do with securing your child, nagiging ganun ka. And the kwento ko kung what it is. So when you become a mother, when you become a parent, you develop amygdala at the back of your brains and, and that is scientifically proven. Mm-hmm. So 
Um, what I what I did is, yung partner ko kasi, he was also doing network marketing at that time. Yeah. So I told him that I'm going to veer away from being that person. You okay. do what you do, but I'm going to shift. Okay, Great. I'm going to deviate and be, and start entering uh, the BPO industry. That's how mm-hmm. I became um, a call center agent. Mm-hmm. But then, since my mindset is, you know, you have to give your your best shot. Yeah. Your, yung, kumbaga, your excellent self. Yeah. So when it comes to something, para achieve mo yung higher goal mo. Because what I really initially wanted was, um, I don't, I didn't want to become just a call center agent, but I wanted to become an operations manager. Ganon, kasi nga, at that time, uh, BPO OMs receive uh, six digits pataas eh. So mm. yun yung ginol ko before. Yeah. Which, um, almost happened. Mm-hmm. But during during the course of the period that I was in the BPO industry, um, I got promoted as a trainer um, after eight months, and then eventually I became a team manager, a team lead. But there's a point, in, you know, uh, parang nabuboring ka. Yeah. I got bored again, and I wanted to have more time for my child. Yeah. Because when you become a mother. Uh, that's that's the thing. You want to be there when your child is growing up. So yeah. if I, all kinds of firsts of my child, I never witnessed it. The first word, first time walking, first time oh. to solid foods, wala, hindi ko nakita. And even her first New Year, first Christmas, wala din ako nun. So wow. it's, it was very saddening for me. That's why during... Um, 2014, I decided na, okay, so I think I'm going to spend a couple more months mm. um, in, uh, you know, in, in this company, but eventually I will uh, resign na. Okay lang ba yun sa'yo? Sabi ko yun sa partner ko. Because yeah. I was seeing him flourishing in, in another um, industry. So yeah. sabi ko, siguro baka naman pwede ako magpahinga. Ganyan. Yeah. Yeah. So, buti naman, umuo naman siya. Mm. So, sige, okay lang. So, 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 okay, sige. So, I also experienced becoming um, a homemaker. So, a housewife. Yeah, and, yeah. But it didn't last uh, ng matagal. I think it, it only lasted for four months until uh, he told me that we're going to open our own business. Uh-huh. We're selling uh, green tea juice mm-hmm. and, you know, blue dry and soaps. Um, at that time. So that was the first um, kumbaga, kind of business that we were selling a product na ginagamit ng person because yep, yep. on the side, when I was doing BPO and yep, yep. my partner doing network marketing, we were building up a fund, fund for our buy and sell business. Okay. So yung buy and sell business namin na for cars, ano lang siya, parang hindi pa siya super priority. Mm. But we were already growing our units. So the, with this one, um, sadly, this this business, akala namin it's going to be uh, a totally different kind of life now for us because okay. we thought we're going to flourish in it. Mm. Okay, but then what's sad is that uh, nagkaroon ng mismanagement in terms of budget allocation. Yeah, um, which we could. Like discuss later on. So in short, we got bankrupt. Yeah. Okay. So wow. <laughs> that was the the second uh, lowest point of my life again. Mm. So the hard, kumbaga, the hardest part is this time kasi ano na eh, kumbaga, galing ka na sa okay sa okay buwa ka na. Mm. Um, okay ka na ulit. Yeah. We were able to establish na um, I think four units ng cars. Mm. And may mga iba-ibang assets na bigla na ubos na naman siya. <laughs> Why? Because we thought um, that kapag nag-all-in kami sa business, mag siya, mag siya. So we yep. thought, so mali mm-hmm. yan, mali. Um, so in short, na-bankrupt ulit kami. Mm. So with this time around, of course, we've already de- developed um, you know, mental resilience uh-huh. and we know how to adjust. But sabi ko nga sa self ko, this has got to stop because this is yeah. the second time. Mm. If there will be a third time, may mali na talaga. We cannot be on the same 
uh, business or the same income stream. Kailangan laging magkahiwalay. Mm-hmm. So, sabi ko sa kanya, sige, you look for other avenues, ha, partner ko. So, look for other avenues um, and then I'm gonna look for a different path for myself. So, I prayed one night and uh, I, I asked the Lord what it is that I could do pa. Puti na lang, I have this recorded scene na nakita ko a few years back mm-hmm. um, sa isang house ng friend. So we were drinking, parang house party, drinking house party, ganyan. And then I saw this this friend of a friend na nasa sulok siya ng house niya. Um, parang cubicle sa house. as may computer. Sabi ko, oh my God, how are we doing this? Kapag yung isa niyong friend is busy sa isang sulok, computer lang. Sabi sa akin, huwag ka maingi kasi nag-work yan. May client yan from Australia. Oh, sabi ko, oh talaga. So iusap, pwede pala yun. Usap pala yun yan, yung work from home. So, mm. that particular scene, mm. pag na sa back of my brain na siya, kaya nagkaroon ako ng idea nung nagdadasal ako na, oh, ano nga pala, pwede palang online jobs. Baka naman pwede siya na-explore. Yeah. So, true enough, um, I have typed in online jobs Philippines and I stumbled upon different uh, job platforms. Uh-huh. But then, um, during the course of the years, Hindi lang ako, so from freelancer, independent contractor, I eventually uh, landed a, a, a stint from a social media marketing guru abroad. Yeah. And that person mentored me and told me that I really have to go deep uh. Uh, into digital marketing, which I did because he guided me and thanks to him. Um, so I evolved and really honed my skills in terms of of marketing per se, you know, SEO, SMM, any kinds, lead generation, all of the, all, all of those fancy things. Yeah. And then I eventually created and built my small agency. Uh-huh. And then uh, na meet ko yung um, partner ko now um, with Social Media Academy in a form of a group that I established before with with the intention lang sana, dapat ang intention lang ng group na yun is to, you know, to catapult um, attention coming from other people who are also managing pages like myself. Yeah. Parang friendship lang na group. Yeah. But the need was there and people were already asking us to to give time. Give time para daw matutu- matuto sila ng ginagawa namin and so on. Which, that's why nag-open kami ng Social Media Academy. And yeah. then it grew. Um, Social Media Academy grew. Uh, with thousands thousands of members and then uh, from there I was also able to uh, meet my other partners in business um, so with Carla Singson so now we have Prime Press and then I have a new venture which is called uh, Digital Dynasty and ako naman, I, I eventually became a coach myself um, yeah. helping out people uh, create their own personal brands so plus ito na fast forward I'm already advocating I know, financial independence in a form of a group which I established um, a few months ago. It's called the High Fi Network for Women. Great. So that's my story, basically. Wow. I mean, um, what I, I while, while you were telling your story, I learned a couple of things. No? And, well, I just have a question. Diba you, you sinabi mo na parang what, he, what uh, you and your partner did is parang you have your own income stream and then... Yeah. Um, he has his own. Are, are you still doing the same? Or parang... Uh, Magkaiba pa din kami. Mm, okay. Yeah, we're, we're still doing uh, different things. Um, right now, I, I ask him to be more focused on the automobile industry. Kasi dun siya, dun siya, dun niya mas gamay. So, he's handling the brick and mortar side the mm. business. Mm. So, ako naman, I'm all, all doing the consultancy, digital marketing stuff. Yeah, yeah I mean... Pa yeah, kasi... I, I learned I, I learned something from that because uh, I think di ba sabi mo na when you were together what happened is pag uh, nung na na nalugi yung isang negosyo like sabay <laughs> kayong bagsak yeah yeah I understand that yeah, yeah I think how I started din kasi is uh, my girlfriend was uh, working you know in a company and then meron siyang uh, consistent uh, income stream and I was just start, starting out then and I think I, I think I, I really said to her na Hey, if ever my business um, will fail, is it possible if you can feed me? 
<laughs> kasi ayun oh, nga wala I, I don't know no pero fast forward today she is now helping me as well sa sa combination stuff pero yeah i mean that's a good uh, the, the, that's a good idea then you know when you start kasi you mm. don't know no i also have friends as well no na parang when somebody when the guy is an entrepreneur maybe the woman naman is na go work then para at least my both stability at the same time meron ding uh, variable na Mm-hmm. Na parang income. Honestly, I think uh, the men, ako kasi, before kasi we had issues about it. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, common, of course, common, our usual mentality is, syempre, pag ako successful, dapat ito ka na sa akin, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I think, I think na din my, my partner kasi, he's letting me do what I want to do because yeah. he understands and knows that if I just follow and don't, you know, I don't lead. Right. Ano ako, um, uh, nagiging broken person. Right, right. So I think become very sad then. But yeah. I also support him. Yeah. So the thing is, even though we're doing things separately, I managed my time mm. um, and, and created these time blocks. So I have time for my other businesses and I have time for him and our business and our kids. You know? right. So time blocking method, talaga, which is important. Yeah, that's so, amazing. Para, para then, I, para ano, hindi kami close na close sa isang circle. So, okay. it has its own space. I have my own space. Yeah, yeah. understand. Diba you mentioned na uh, you lost, I mean, first of all, I was, I was writing down the, ano, millionaire at 19 is amazing. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've done MLM as well and I know it's, 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 it's difficult, it's you know, <laughs> um, doing this and then that's, that's amazing and then you lost I mean, I think siguro yung pinaka painful part is the pride day. Eh. Kasi when you earn yeah. your first million, parang uy, kumita ako ng first million ko at 19 and you're telling mm. everybody and everybody thinks that you're successful and then how does it feel, di ba, na, na inside pala things are financed not going well and then uh, to the public that, uh, di ba, it, it, it seems sa public na, na you're successful and then sometimes they don't know the backstory na Sorry, yeah. times, di ba, na successful people actually feels pero nakakaya lang to share kasi di ba I mean mm-hmm. yeah that's that's really inspiring um ito yung question kasi I want to ask this question since a lot of people as well might possibly lose everything right now kasi mm-hmm. um because of what's happening uh, businesses uh, are closing in a way mm-hmm. na uncontrollably and then uh, talagang ma-affected yung production operations yung um yung finance din pag ikot ng pera kasi everybody's fearful so what if um you lose everything right now no your connections your brand your wealth or business um and then all you have left na lang is your knowledge hmm. how are you how are you gonna start all over again what are parang anong gagawin mo well before i answer that i want to emphasize one important thing uh knowing your special gifts talents profitable abilities and your unfair advantage is crucial Right. Okay, for you to get back up for, para tumayo ka ulit sa feet yeah. mo. Yeah. Because if you don't know yourself, hindi mo alam kung ano yung kaya mong gawin, mahirapan ka uh-huh. makaroon ng direction. So, yeah. ako kasi, my core skill set, talagang pinaka main abilities ko is, is dalawa. So, adaptability and communication. Okay. Uh, when it comes to communication, anything, so marketing, selling, any types of stuff, I could communicate it well. And adaptability. I have fast and high. Um, di naman, di naman siguro ako iguana, no? <laughs> Pero, ma, ma, bilis lang talaga ako mag-adjust, mag-adapt. Okay. I can uh, learn fast as well. Yeah. So, knowing that, I would give you three steps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's this, this thing that I'm going to share with you is something that is also applicable. Basta alam mo na kung saan ka magaling. Right, right. <clears throat> so, number one, uh, what I would do is, uh, I would look for and dominate an industry or a niche and find 10 new people. Okay, 10 mm-hmm. people, 10 new people who would need my strengths. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not a matter of doing a massive marketing na post ka ng post ni ganun. So I really mm-hmm. have to find the people who are my exact opposite. Because okay. okay. Opposite and at the same time, um, Meron siyang advantage that I could benefit then, and meron din akong advantage that that person could benefit then from me. Yeah. So yeah. I would build a relationship 
with 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 those prospects you mm-hmm. know get to know them on a deeper level before i pitch anything Siyempre, important to you have to show your credibility your your, your reputation okay. how trustworthy you are um i think uh, i would look for someone so for example be, i'll be specific na lang with the scenario so i would look for someone uh, who has a little bit of a budget uh-huh. um skills that can be turned into, you know, an awesome content and is in a profitable industry, has charisma. Um, but that person doesn't know how to turn their product services or turn their skill sets into an offer. Right. So that right. would be the type of person that uh-huh. I'm going to target. Uh-huh. So, so step one pa lang, there are, there's one lesson that I want to emphasize. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to understand who it is that you want to serve. Mm. So important to create ka ng avatar or yung bara persona because so yun yung second crucial step. Okay? Mm. So mm. knowing yourself, understanding your gifts, and knowing who it is that you want to serve. So for example, I already have identified that person. The step two would be um, I would present them um, the digital opportunity mm. na hindi pa nila siguro nakita. Right. And my custom action plan with a partnership offer. Mm. So, mala shark tank. Mm. Shark tank na arrive. Right, right, right. So, I would um, build and lay everything out for, for mm. I would call them a client na, for, for, the, for the new client. I will show them mm. how they can combine and maximize uh, revenue by planning their online and offline marketing. So, mm. paano ba siya ginagawa? How organic marketing works, how paid ad works, and so, so on. Mm. So I would uh, basically come up with a six-month plan, yeah. which in, which includes a timeline of uh, launch dates, events, mm. online events particularly, and, uh, you know, mga activities. Tapos, okay. um, ang gagawin ko is, yung launch and product offering uh, will be set Will, will be on setup fee plus royalty deal or equity royalty deal. Mm. So, hindi mo na kung ko is as ng bayad because I lost everything. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, yeah. hindi rin ako kilala. Yeah. 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 Okay. You have to do that because that would help me build my reputation. So, I can get their testimonial. Pwedeng yung one person na yun could turn into or could, could give birth to 10 other people because mm. marami siyang friends. Right? So, pwedeng i-refer niya ako. And then, my step three would be simple. I will repeat. Mm. Repeat whatever I did in another industry until I reach my target monthly income before, before, ulitin ko, before sharing my success story and relaunching my own line of products and services. All of which, narinig niyo naman, ginawa ko lang yun ng ano, uh, ninja tactics. So, that would be wow. the thing that I'm going to do. Wow, uh, Melissa, I really appreciate you sharing step by step kasi grabbing sobrang technical, no? Kasi I'm sure na same thing din na karami ng tao. Um, knows probably they might lose everything then they don't know what to do. And then, mm. you know, I'm sure I, I this is just uh, like an interview. It may be normal for you, pero I'm sure maraming lives yeah. talaga ma-impact because of what you said. Kasi, um, I, I, Siguro, if if I were to start all over again, I think I would do you know a similar thing as well. No, na um an yung strength ko um who would I find na tingin tingin mo weakness niya? How you could complement each other? How you can work together? Repeat it, do it again and again and again. Wow, I mean that's that's amazing. And then um Melissa, you 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 said kanina na you have a couple of businesses. Uh, no, meron kang uh, tao dito. Uh, you teach, you help people build the brand, and then. Uh, buy and sell ba yun? Um, yeah, buy and sell ng luxury and, items. Yeah, cars, yeah, all this. watches, and... Right. Um, ito yung question ko eh. Kasi parang I, I know how it feels to be a serial entrepreneur. That means like I have more than two, three, four businesses. And yung, what what happened kasi with me back then is me starting a lot of businesses. Pag sabay-sabay na yung problems is parang you have to prioritize na parang um have you experienced the same before na parang yung businesses uh sabay-sabay naka problema and then so so my question is how how do you handle this one no? na have you experienced something like that before na sabay-sabay yung problema and then 
Um, what do you suggest, ba? like people starting two, three, four, five businesses right away, or do they do you suggest focusing on one first and then, um, based on your experience, um, is it okay if you could share? Actually, it really depends on your personality too. Mm. Ako kasi, the reason why I'm okay with many, many things going on is because I am a multi-potentialite. So, ano ako, um, okay ako sa madaming tinitingnan, maraming ginagawa. Mm. I, I get fired up. Uh, but then, for example, you're, you're starting out and you're the type of person who is siguro not clueless. You have an idea how things would go, how to manage stuff but not everything. So if you're that type of person, I would recommend you having a partner. So I think, <laughs> ako naman, I'm blessed to have met the right people kasi during the course of my time. And I also uh, believe na it's, it's good, it's okay na gawin ko siya mag but it would be much more fun and mm-hmm. it would be better if, you know, there would be two or three heads rather than one who is managing yeah. the business. And all of what we're gonna ha- do is complement each other. So if, ako, if I am the type of person who is more external, most, ano mo yun, must uh, find the relationship and stuff, siguro dun ako mag-focus. Sila, if that person is into systems um, or hmm. CTO kind of stuff, di dun siya. So magkakaiba kami ng roles and responsibilities. So I think if you're, yun nga, if you're the type of person who cannot handle a lot of things all at once, uh-huh. uh, but is not 100% Sure, that you can cover all bases in the business. I would recommend you um, creating your online business with someone who would complement your abilities. Right. Instead right. of you doing it, na magisa. Right. Wonderful. Ito last question, no? Because I'm also curious based um ano yung kayong answer na isang serial entrepreneur. You have businesses that are affected. Meron din naman na uh, di. I mean. Affected, pero not that much compared to other businesses. Assuming that this crisis is gonna last for, let's say, the next five years, you know, um, how are you gonna handle your business, your employees, your uh, um, your personal finance? Ba? Hopefully, it wouldn't last that long because mm-hmm. if that happens, na napana siguro ang Philippines. So I'm really hoping that it wouldn't last that much. But yeah. The good thing is, based on historical data, uh-huh. this kind of pandemics would usually last for one to two years. Okay. So that's you know that's a positive side. So ako naman, um, what I did initially did when when the mm-hmm. pandemic broke out, mm-hmm. I looked at what happened in the past. Okay. So kung baga nag nag research mo ako. What were the businesses that went well in the past that thrived during the, the outbreak, the pandemic, the crisis, economic crash, things like that? And what were the, the good takeaways there? So yeah. the best people to look, look out and you really search would be Rockefeller, John okay. Rockefeller, because he is the, the one guy who really managed to create his own empire out of yeah. the major economic crisis. Um, so ako, ginawa ko, after doing the research, I have a plan already. And first, yun nga, um, according to the, the projections or mm. the reports, there will be massive changes in consumer behavior. Okay. Okay. And there will be a new normal. Okay. Kumbaga, all the things that are ha- that we're used to, magti change siya. Okay. And that will leave you as an entrepreneur the choice if you're going to evolve or stagnate. Right. Like, because... Uh, yun nga, yun yung two words na kailangan ko iwan sa inyo. You have a choice right now. It's either right. you're going to evolve with the new normal or you're going to stagnate and eventually lose your business. Right. So, kasi yung iba, medyo matigas pa, no? Hindi, yeah. hindi ko ka, hindi ko lang. Right. Mahirap yun. You have to join the evolution. Uh, that would be my 100% recommendation to you. So, yeah. right now, um, it, is be- it is best to make some changes involving, you know, digital operations. Pag sabi natin, digital operations, what is it that you can bring as a digital world? Mm-hmm. So, is it marketing, sales? Mm-hmm. If yes, then how are you going to manage it online? What are the tools that you're going to use, basically? How are mm-hmm. you going to set up your lead gen, whatever? So, mm-hmm. yung mga technical terms na, na akala mo, alien terms ng mga digital marketers like me and Fibo, kailangan mo na siyang alamin. You have to understand them. Right, right. And then, from there, you have to pivot. 
Ako, yun, yun ang una kong ginawa and pinag-isipan din. I have to pivot what it is I have to pivot. Mm. Um, how we operate, how we deliver, uh, what goods and services we have now and what we could provide after this ECQ or this, this quarantine. Uh, what are the major or uh, changes that we have to omit or change or upgrade? Yun agad, inisip ko. Hindi lang ako to focus on what's happening now because syempre, yun nga, isasabi ko rin even before, um, if you're an entrepreneur and you're really serious about doing business, you're really serious about sustaining your income, um, you have to respond more than react. So I think a lot of people are missing that um, because, you know, many people are becoming too emotional, posting this politics stuff, uh, posting, ah, you, uh, oh, you, okay, that's just the now. What, what is yeah. going to happen after that, right? Yeah. So yeah. With, with this route and with the path that I've chosen, I know na once I'm done doing the pivot and na, na planchado ko na, I would still be able to handle or all the OPEX mm-hmm. and uh, my finances uh, yeah. the way it's supposed to be. But, kwento ko lang, no? The first thing that I did was do an audit in terms of operational expense. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of automation and online apps. And siguro op- OPEX ko pa lang, sa tools and apps, um, it's more than $1,000 already. Mm-hmm. So, I already looked for alternatives which will cut down um, my expenses. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang half, to one-fourth. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already foreseen na, oh, nga, may, may feeling ko na rin kasi yun eh. Yeah, Looking yeah. at the, the percentage of the recoveries um, and what's happening is tumataas siya. Hindi ko pa makukulit. Ayaw, uh-huh. ayaw, ano sa, ayaw to, Miguel sa bahay, di ba? Uh, uh-huh. So, sabi ko, if this is going to continue, um, and if the same thing is happening worldwide, kailangan ko lang mag-change ng industry mm. and mag-remove muna ng expenses and focus on what it is that I could utilize. Wonderful. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, one of the biggest takeaways na ako ako is you studied um, the past, which is... Mm-hmm. Which is amazing, and then you mentioned in uh, you studied Rockefeller, who built. I, I, I think I, I haven't. Uh, well, I knew Rockefeller, pero that's siguro what I didn't do. Um, well, what I did before is I, I've been studying the past na, pero siguro what I didn't do is study the past again, right now, since uh, we are in the the same you know recession thing, and I mean yeah. That's that's amazing. Um, you know, you study the performances, ilang years maglalas, and then mm. we know naman ahead of time na there's a recession that's gonna come, you know, every 10 years. It may be different. It may be the virus, yeah. market, real estate, uh, something else. Pero, um, I know, wow, grabe. Uh, Melissa, uh, I'm, I'm sure that our viewer viewers got value from this. And if you just have more time, um, talagang we would be here for hours, but <laughs> Unfortunately, our time is limited. If ever our viewers would want to connect with you, learn more from you, um, have a conversation, buy your products, your offer, get your service, how can they do that? Go ahead. Um, uh, very simple. You just have to, you can visit my personal page. It's Melissa Perfetta. At this is Mel P. Actually, mm. that's, my, that's my nickname, Mel. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is Mel P. Or you can visit my website at this is Mel P.com. Wow. Uh, Melissa, I want to thank you so much you know, for generously sharing your ideas, your thoughts, and uh, you didn't hold back, I can really say. And you even shared your struggles um, up to the very detail. Uh, grabe. Uh, it, it's, it was, it's really inspiring um, on me. Uh, Melissa, do you have any last words, by the way? Or wala um, I think it, it's this, this one question that I want to leave everyone. Mm. Because I noticed kasi Nay iba kasi talaga parang feeling nila it's the end of the world or just sad ganun. Yeah. When you are worried like that, you just have to ask yourself, what am I choosing mm-hmm. to not see right now? And look at that. And you will see eventually what it is that you're missing out. Right. Wow. Um Wow, I mean that that that's a powerful statement. Um, Melissa, once again, thank you. No, thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this interview. Until next time, this is Fibo Lim. God bless you, you and stay safe. Bye bye.
hey, thank you so much for watching this interview. By the way, the reason why we conduct these interviews because we're actually raising funds so that we could provide for our frontliners and also for our less fortunate kababayans. And right now, it's still ongoing, okay? If you want to donate and participate and join this summit so that you can also help our less fortunate kababayans, just visit this link entrepcharitysummit.com I just go to entrepcharitysummit.com to actually donate and also receive all these interviews for free once again thank you so much by the way if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet go ahead and click subscribe so that when we publish a new video you will get notified maraming salamat until next time this is Fibolim God bless you and stay safe